The sound of the dialysis machine's beeps, working to save lives like that of 50-year-old Victoria Donko, who has been on dialysis for 16 years. If you have a house full of money, by now, to the finished life. <laughs> well, it's not been that easy. There are times you are not so well. There are times you are strong. There are also times you are so hard up with money, it's difficult to come. Distraught kidney patients are flooding into the renal unit at the Kolobu Teaching Hospital following the announcement that the National Health Insurance Authority will cover the cost of dialysis for all patients to varying extents this month. The vulnerable group will receive up to eight free sessions per month. For Victoria, it is a good initiative, but the age gap covered is not favorable. People were expecting to have free dialysis, but this is a receipt. So some have come and they have left because they didn't have money and they assumed that they were going to get it. So if the government will be good enough to give us this opportunity, then I think that they should pay it ahead of time so that we will have our undisturbed dialysis. We are so grateful. They've done so well and I think that it's, it's a good decision in the right direction. It has been a roller coaster for patients regarding their dialysis cost over the past months, with prices continually increasing. The renal unit at the hospital is poised to serve as the new implementation takes effect. The Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Insurance Authority, Dr. Da Costa Boaje, visited the renal unit to ensure the promise is implemented. He disclosed that arriving at this decision after numerous meetings has been a tough process. The government do have a clear sustainability plan which will be unveiled. And as I have, it even includes um, obviously seeing how we can support some facilities with dialysis machines, how we can move on to the other forms of dialysis as the as professor was talking about is a comprehensive one so this will even serve as a learning for us in improving what we are going to put in place as a government the president of the reno patient association of ghana bafo kujo ahenkra believes that more can be done for kidney patients 18 below is free 60 and above is free then the numbers are not that much now let's say 20 to 59, that is where the numbers are. And we are the people who are a bit stronger, who can go back to work and work, pay our taxes, feed our family, take care of other. But we are rather getting two sessions. It's not bad, because we are doing eight. Out of the eight, they are giving us two. We appreciate, but like I said, it could have been better. The head of the kidney disease unit, Dr. Professor Vincent Boima, issued a word of caution. Most would come already end stage with kidney functions very low already requiring dialysis and that's what we'll be saying so we are telling the public that look don't wait for symptoms to develop because if you wait for symptoms of dizziness weakness tiredness breathlessness etc to develop before you come when you come they're going to put you on dialysis and you're waiting for transplant if you don't get it remain on dialysis in the long term it has not been an easy journey for kidney patients, especially those who have been battling with the disease for decades. Most of them have been trooping in here at the renal unit in the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, explaining that it has been a burden that has been lifted off their shoulders. They are hoping that this promise will go beyond December so that most of the patients will be able to come in to have their dialysis done. The program will cover the expenses of eight monthly dialysis sessions for individuals under 18 and over 60 years, identified as the vulnerable group for an initial six-month period. For patients aged 18 to 59 years, the program will subsidize two dialysis sessions per month at 982 Ghana cities, amounting to 491 Ghana cities per session across government dialysis facilities, excluding the Kolebu Teaching Hospital.